Factory in Houston, Texas. In New York City, fast food workers walked off the job to hold a series of rallies and picket lines Thursday in what's been called the largest series of worker actions ever to hit the country's fast food industry. Hundreds of workers at dozens of restaurants owned by McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell and others went on strike and rallied in a bid for fair pay and union recognition. Organizers with the Fast Food Forward campaign are seeking an increased pay rate of $15 an hour, about double what the minimum wage worker Workers are making. Workers and their allies demanded a wage that would let them support their families. CEOs take on six digit figures. Do you think they're worrying about how we how we make our how we provide for our kids? No. Do they know how the store is run? It's run day to day, day in, day out by regular employees just like myself. We're out here to send a message to McDonald's, Burger King behind me, Yum Brands and other fast food restaurants all over the city that uh, workers aren't going to take it. And there's a movement of workers um, to make sure that people can get $15 an hour and the right to unionize. And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. And I'm Juan Gonzalez. Welcome to all of our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world. Juan, your piece in the New York Daily News today on this one-day strike by fast food workers at McDonald's, Burger King and others, um, uh, you talk about it just being the beginning. Yes, and I think the important thing to understand as we look at the, this uh, development now, because this uh, didn't just happen. Uh, the Service Employees International Union has uh, hired about 40 uh, organizers over the summer to begin developing a campaign campaign among fast food workers here in New York City. And they were, in turn, inspired by the Black Friday protests that the workers at Walmart had over the past weekend and decided that it was time to act now, even though they were still trying to organize to get the message out of these major companies like McDonald's and, and Burger King and Wendy's and Domino's, the others, Taco Bell, uh, that to get that message out as a means of beginning to arouse more of the workers. And what, I, what I was struck by was uh, the age of a lot of the workers. We're not talking here about uh, workers, uh, you know, the, the the stereotype decades ago of fast food workers, whether it was largely high school kids and college kids who were looking to be able to make some extra money. But what's happened as a result of the Great Recession and the continued downward push on wages is that you're finding now a lot of uh, middle-aged and elderly people who are in these jobs. I saw a, uh, I spoke to a 52-year-old worker who had spent 10 years uh, working at the off-track betting corporation and before that at windows on the world and the world trade center uh, another 10 years and she was at the she said the low point in her working life to be making minimum wage uh, at a mcdonald's uh, and so that the reality is that as these older workers get pushed into these low-wage jobs all of them have had to some degree union experience in the past they understand the importance of unions and that they're now becoming the catalyst uh, in the fast food industry to begin a what could be potentially a huge unionization campaign. And these are the jobs that can't be shipped to China because they're service workers. Exactly. They're serving people here. Exactly. And I think that's the, it remains to be seen whether it's successful. But uh, that's how all of these uh, huge uh, unionized industries started, with a few organizers and a few workers understanding this great need of workers to be treated well with dignity. Well, of course, we'll continue to follow this story. And you can go to our website at democracynow.org. Democracy Now's Martina Starosta was out at the protest yesterday in Chile bring you more voices uh, from the streets outside the fast food restaurants. Juan? Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.